Welcome to the program, everybody. We've got two hours of jam-packed fantasy football broadcasting live from Las Vegas. If you've got lineup questions, we've got answers. Dial it in right here on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio. I've heard the old expression that when guys have a midlife crisis, they buy a boat or a sports car. I bought a fantasy football business. Jamal Charles, oh, running back. LaShawn McCoy, running back. You know, 36, 37 million people play fantasy football each year. Julius Pepper has been around the league about 10, 12 years. He couldn't even figure out what just happened to him. And Percy Harvin went by him so fast. Oh, I'm a total nerd. You could tell by my hair. Frosted tips when you're in your mid-30s means you're definitely a nerd. Most of the people that I've met from this industry, I would never hang out with in real life. I'd like to believe I'm the cool kid at the nerd table. I'm the number eight ranked fantasy player in the world. I started off very bad at fantasy, and then this last season, I won $100,000. My wife, her reaction was, oh, that's good, honey. That's it. I play about 2,000 fantasy contests every weekend. I kind of like to think of it as managing an investment portfolio. I'm going to be the small fish out there in that big sea of uh, sharks, so yeah. I would miss August 2004 for a little magazine called Playboy. If you have Jordy Nelson, you've got to play them in the season long. How much work are you willing to put into it to get to the next level and win the $150,000 grand prize? And that's what separates the men from the boys. Aaron Rodgers, a 3-1 touchdown to interception ratio. And an NFL record. The high stakes in Las Vegas, that's a lot of money to a lot of people. But the daily games, you can win a million dollars. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Sit at home from your own computer, draft teams every week. All these companies have these multi-million dollar tournaments. How often do you have an opportunity to make a million dollars in a day playing fantasy? It's the new gambling. It's legal sports betting and the NFL is knee deep in it. It's not gambling, it's a game of skill, it's statistical. It's the stock market. If you're gonna say daily fantasy is gambling, then you have to say we gotta shut down the stock market. When you're playing in fantasy sports, it's the greatest reality show in the world. You know, you can't be a professional player, but you can still kind of live out some of those dreams.